Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we're going to be showcasing our brand new 2020 Woodland Park front kitchen unit. This is our 264 floor plan, very new design, very excited to have it here. Just showed up about a week ago, got it all cleaned up. Up here in Spokane, Washington, this unit is available in all 50 states. So if you wanted to get a custom quote on designing your own and deliver it anywhere in the country, we could certainly do that. So this particular unit, the first thing I wanted to point out is we did the tall clear story windows throughout both sides of the unit. This is gonna really bring in a lot of natural light. It's gonna open it up, make it feel a lot more open and bright inside. Second thing I wanted to point out, the secondary eave line that runs on both sides front to back. This will help if you wanted to attach an existing structure like an awning or a porch. Got the outdoor light. You'll also see out here we did the drop floor. So this section drops down. This is where the bedroom is. This will help give you extra ceiling clearance up in the loft. Gives you a total of 54 inches of ceiling clearance. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside. First thing you're gonna see here, this is our newest upgraded flooring. This is a tongue and groove floor. It is not glued down and it's actually made out of PVC. So it doesn't scratch or bubble up like you would see a normal laminate floor do after time. Taking a peek in here, this is the front kitchen unit like I had mentioned before, very new design. Up here is all the clear story windows. We did that on both sides. Just really opens it up, that tall flat ceiling, good transition strips, nice accent with the molding up above. So another thing I like about this floor plan is we don't have a designated dining area, but we do have a bar area, so you have seating for eating or entertaining people. That really helps open up the living space for furniture placement. Most of the times you'll see two recliners, maybe a 72 inch sleeper sofa. This is also a new feature that we added. This is a shiplap wall. We did a distressed wood look. You'll notice a lot of our cabinetry and our new floating shelves are also a distressed wood look. Very new feature, very modern, got a clean look to it. This is also our new electric fireplace. It is a 48 inch instead of the standard 30 inch you see in most other units. Uh, just really adds a nice warm, cozy feel to it when you have it turned on. It does throw out some heat too, so it works pretty well. Another thing we did up here is the enclosed loft. So there is actual glass panes up there. Really retains the sound up there if the kids are up there playing. Looks nice. That is also a new feature that we just started doing in our Wooden Park models. Back over to the kitchen, we did the upgraded stainless steel appliance package. This is a new stainless steel range with the stainless steel backer. Just gives it a really nice clean look. Stainless steel 30 inch range, propane or natural gas, you could just swap out the orifices. Here's our new cabinetry as well. Like I mentioned, everything's got the distressed wood look. It is still hardwood cabinets, soft close hinges, 18 cubic foot stainless steel fridge. You can do a 22 cubic foot if you wanted to. I actually just designed a, a unit with the customer where we added a second pantry right here, 18 inch pantry. Right there, just move the window down a little bit. That's your return air. This is prepped and installed for air conditioning. Also has a 40,000 BTU gas forced air furnace. So everything is ducted throughout the house. This kitchen does have a lot of storage. We try to fit as many windows as we could into this unit. More of the floating shelves. That matches the shiplap, it's a nice accent. We did the stainless steel farmhouse sink with the pull down spout, new uh, black hardware, and we did an 18 inch stainless steel dishwasher. You can remove that and add more storage if you wanted to, but this one we wanted to show you can fit one in economically. So we're gonna come back this way. This is where the staircase goes to the loft. But I'm gonna show you, we're gonna hang it right here. This is where the bathroom's located. Sorry I don't have the power hooked up, so hopefully you guys can see that uh, pretty well in there. We also did some storage here in the hallway. Anywhere you can get added storage is a huge bonus. Right there in the corner. 
and in the bathroom here it's got a lot of countertop space a lot of storage space that is a lighted mirror so that square inside the the mirror does light up we did the 30 39 inch neo angle shower with the recessed head well so us tall people can get in and out of the shower no problem elongated toilet more storage up above the toilet Here is the bedroom. We do have more storage underneath the staircase. Like I said, storage is a huge benefit. Anywhere we can fit it, we try to. So here is the drop floor. This is where you step down into the bedroom. This is gonna give you that extra ceiling clearance up in the loft, but it does not take away your ceiling clearance in the bedroom. Overhead cabinets above the bed. Got the dimmer switch to operate the, the lighting underneath the cabinetry. Got the nightstands on each side of the bed. It will fit a queen size comfortably in this unit. Got the his and her closet with the bank of drawers in the center. This has got a ton of storage space in this, in this bedroom. Um, fits a 32 inch TV with lighting up above. And let's go up in the loft and take a look up there. So this is the drop floor section. It's gonna give you 54 inches of ceiling clearance. We also have the air conditioner up here, so you can do uh, your own AC up here in the loft. And it does have two sides, so you can easily fit two queen size mattresses. And once again, here's the enclosure for the loft. Keeps it nice and quiet for the people out there. Anyways, we're really excited about this unit. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 888-222-2699. Thank you.